useless Itadori facts that you probably didn't know about. Basically, all the information here isn't really too useful, but why not share them? So before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe. We're almost at 1.5k, so I'd really appreciate it. So let's start off here with Black Flash facts. Black Flash seems to have vertical tracking, and basically what that means is that if your opponent is above you and you use the aerial version of Black Flash and have your mouse hovering on the opponent, you'll be put at the height of where they're at. It's a lot harder to describe, so obviously I have recording. Another useless fact about Black Flash is that you're able to use the ground variant of Black Flash in the air. Basically, all you need to do is stack Black Flash while you're laddering. This could be somewhat useful, but doing the standard down slam is more effective. Now, a little My Brother fact is that Toto will copy your M1s. And basically what I mean is that if you do a variation of your final M1, Toto will copy the property of that final M1. Basically, if you do an upfling, Toto will upfling, despite the animation being the same as the normal kick. Now, most of the variations of this are entirely useless, as the only way for Toto to land this is if you guard break the opponent with your final M1, meaning he'll just screw you out of your combo. So, the only ones that might serve some sort of use is if you were to land a down slam while you're on the ground, or if you manage to clap the opponent back to you if Toto upflings them. These were all the useless facts that I could really find for Itadori. There's probably some more hidden facts out there, but this is all I have. This video was another filler, as I have three more days of finals left. After those, I'll be able to post more stuff like compare and contrast videos. If you guys like this, make sure to subscribe and like, and I'll see you. Peace.